and we're back Anastasia here I hope you guys are doing good and without a doubt you know one of my favorite art movements of all time is impressionists and on that note in this week's art chapter I'd love to talk about Renoir's and Claude Monet's BFF Alfred Sisley these three artists were not only pals who organized the first art exhibition of Impressionists in Paris, where Claude Monet showed his famous piece that he named Impression Sunrise, where something the word Impressionism actually came from. And following this Impressionist exhibition is where massive artistic movement was created. But also these friends remained close right up until their last days where Sisley actually asked Claude Monet to look after his two kids. Even here on this painting by Renoir, we see Sisley and his wife painted. I mean, it's pretty cool that Renoir painted your family portrait. Also, not too many people know this, especially because of Sisley's strong ties to the French Impressionism. His roots are actually of English descent, but he was born in France back in 1839. And on that note, let's learn more about this famous Impressionist painter and the line of the people who started the movement in the first place. Sisley was the fourth baby to his parents, and they strongly supported their son's aptitude towards art, and they did want him to become an artist. At 20 years old, at the Paris Ecole des Beaux-Arts under the supervision and mastership of Marc-Charles-Gabriel Glaire. Sisley got to apprentice and learn everything he could from Glaire, who was a Swiss artist. Glaire was a phenomenal teacher to Sisley. He wasn't too pushy of his ideas. He was really patient, really kind, and he really wanted his student to succeed. One thing Glare was obsessed with is the classics and the foundation of the art itself. So all the proper rules of art is what Glare really made sure that he taught to his students. And funny enough, right at the studio under Glare is where Claude Monet, Alfred Sisley, Pierre-Auguste Renoir and Frédéric Bazil all met at the same time. I mean, that's quite a lineup of phenomenal artists who get to work with each other and learn just as they're starting off their careers. After three years of apprenticing at the studio, all four artists have left and began their careers on their own. And boy, all four of them had quite a journey. And today, these four names of Monet, Renoir, Sisley, Bazil, they're massive giants in the art movement of Impressionism. They all remained close up until their last days. In 1866, Sisley shows at the traditional Paris Salon. And if you're a lover of Impressionists, you know exactly how that showing went. Well, it didn't go so good. A few months later, after the salon showing, Sisley and a few of his other good friends have decided to create their own art show, and they called it the art show of the cancelled artists, so to speak. Today, we know that as the Impressionists art shows. Around the same time, Sisley falls in love with Eugenie Lescouzec. Eugenie, who also went by Marie, has encouraged Sisley throughout her entire life. The two had two babies together and Marie always made sure that she supported his art and she encouraged him to keep going regardless of what the situation was. The two have spent the rest of their lives together and you can really feel Marie's presence in nearly every single painting that Sisley has created. He didn't directly paint a portrait of her, however you can feel her presence whether it's a figure in winding down road or if it's just a figure in the background. Chances are that was Marie. In 1870 France gets into the war with Prussia and around the same time is where Sisley is forced to get out of Paris because the troops are coming in. Sisley has to leave everything behind and there's actually not a lot of paintings that are saved from the moment of 1870 and before. 
In fact, there's only 17 paintings. Those are the paintings that Sisley managed to sell before he had to go. This war really scatters all of our four painters all over. And when the war is over, Sisley does come back to the outskirts of Paris. And he worked all the time. He loved plein air. He was outside, whether it was raining, snowing, Sisley was there painting his infamous snow palette or his infamous landscapes. In fact, in 1874 is when Sisley decided to go back to his roots, so to speak, and he decides to go to England and some of his famous landscapes are painted there. In fact, Sisley's work that's after 1870 is really hunted down and thought after by the collectors to put in the museums or into private collections. That work that Sisley has created is thought to be some of his famous work. Sisley was very active in organizing Impressionist art shows. Sisley was not on the radar of the critics of Impressionist. He just kind of slipped through the cracks of their attention and he just kind of stayed out of the media and of all the criticism, unlike Renoir and Claude Monet. Unfortunately, Sisley did not make a lot of money and art was the only income that he had. So his living financial situation wasn't too great, so to speak. In fact, he had to move around from different places quite often. There's records of different apartments where they would have stayed uh, his entire life. And truth be told, Sisley stopped chasing career success that his friends had. He also didn't necessarily want to watch his friends flourish in all their artistic success, so he just kind of hid away in his plein air studio and did his work. Unfortunately, the artist does fall into quite deep depression. We can really feel it in his paintings. At some point, he stops showing at art shows altogether. Yet at the same time, he still had a lot of attentions from young artists or his, from his friends. He was in constant company of people who genuinely cared about him, who admired his artwork and really wanted to learn from him. After 20 years of being together, living together, Cicely and Marie get married. Unfortunately, the following year is when Marie passes and and a year after that is when Cicely passes away as well, leaving their two nearly grown up children in the hands and care of Claude Monet. As our artist passes, his art just skyrockets in price. His singular pieces are selling for what the artist hasn't even seen in the entirety of his career. In a way, a hunt for Cicely has began. People and collectors really wanted to get their hands on the paintings that he did after 1870, which were the most in-demand works, even until today. A little bit about Cicely's work. He really was an admirer of what his teacher taught him, which is loving the perspective and adhering to the stricter classical rules of the foundation of art, so to speak. So if you look at Cicely's paintings, there is commonly a lot of building perspectives or a winding down road and the viewer really has this never-ending feeling of oh where's this road going oh what's happening there so you really feel that f in his paintings in a way he adhered to the stricter rules of composition than majority of his colleagues did in impressionism so to speak he loved painting his bridges again the strict composition styles. He was also the master of painting snow. He's found millions of shades of the simple snow and Cicely really has shown it to us on the times where he would work on plein air and really see how the sh sun reflects on the snow and what's possible and Cicely has shown it to us. So yeah, there's your Alfred Cicely. I hope you guys enjoy this artist chapter. I am hoping to create another artist chapter that doesn't last nine months. So um, a little bit about me. The past nine months have been a lot of fun with baby Tommy. He is massive. He's fun. He's super active. And I'm hoping to create another artist chapter or art quick bits sooner than nine months. So 
I will see you here for that. If you want to check out more of my most recent work, check out the uh, Hours for All Instagram page. That's where I try and post nearly weekly, a few times a week. Or check out my website, hoursforall.com. Also, smash like and subscribe down here. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.